What's going on everyone? This is Jay with Review It and we're going to go into some of the products that we're using for the second rig. Now I did mention it's going to be a budget build so you're going to notice a couple different graphics cards. First thing I'm going to show you guys is the motherboard. So let's jump into it and I want to show you guys what exact parts we're using so you guys can maybe pick it up and use it in your next setup if you want to. So first thing we have the Asus Prime Z270A motherboard. It is Aurora Sync. Um, we're using this. Then we have a Intel Pentium G4400 processor. This is the same one we're running on the previous one. Um, so we ordered two of those, so we're using that one. And then also the same RAM. So it's going to be Corsair Vengeance RAM. This is DDR4 2400 megahertz, also 16 gigabytes. Next thing is going to be the frame, same frame, 8 GPU mining rig frame. And then let's get into some of the other stuff. So, mint cell PCI risers. Uh, let's see, N.2 uh, adapter to make it to a PCI. 120 gig PMY SSD, so that is a plus. Let's see what we have over here. Let's make sure the graphics cards don't fall. Alright. Now I got another 850 we're going to use on there, and then I have also another 1200. EVGA power supply. So when it comes to the cards, we have an 8 gigabyte Nitro 580. Now I have three of those. Those are going to be the special editions. So one, two, and then three. We have another Sapphire Nitro 4 gig 580. And then the rest of the ones are going to be 4 gigs. So these are going to be the MSI Armor 4G580. Slide those over. Same thing. Overclock edition. And 4, four gigabyte. Nice. Then we have MSI 580, the Gaming X models. And that is also going to be 4 gigabyte as well. We have two of those. So that is what our next build is going to consist of um, so we're looking at four five four gig cards 580s three eight gigs um, reason we wanted to throw in some four gigs we want to see what the hash rate we can get on those and see what we can do compared to all eight gigs um, now these are eight gigs these are the GTS models and those are at 29 mega hash and the 580 GTR black editions are at 30.5 so I'm hoping to get these just as close if not a little higher than the hash rate that we got on the GTS and the GTR models alright so stay tuned I'm gonna go into assembling the rig get it up and going software and then we're gonna dive into flashing the BIOS uh, with that we want to be able to you know make sure we can get the right ROMs on there make sure they run consistently with no type of errors so stay tuned for another update
on the second rig. So right now we have everything assembled. I'm just going through. So two MSI Gaming X, two MSI Armors, three Sapphire uh, Nitro Special Editions, and one uh, Nitro 4 gig. So these are eight of Special Editions, four, four. Um, just want to give you guys an update because right now I'm actually flashing the BIOS for the Special Edition Sapphire 8 gig. They're running on Hyson memory. And right now I was running at, if I can get this focus, about 28.3, 28.2 um, on the BIOS I modded. And then I just modded another BIOS. And I am at 31.1. So 31 consistent. 33 minutes. And I am at 108.4 watts on the card that's 31.1. And it is consistent. Just found another share on that card. So, and running actually 53 degrees, I'm um, still messing with it. I'm deciding to make my adjustments to the fans, um, find that sweet spot of temperature. So, currently 31.1, and I'll be flashing all three with that ROM. Now, so all three of those will be at 31.1. That one is at 29, I believe. 29, 29, and right now I got these I think at 29.8. I would have to double check, but I just want to give you guys an update on the Sapphire Special Editions at 31. And I'm about to flash the two other ones through ATI Flash to get those at 31, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so the latest update on the rig. Rig 2, budget bill, 3 Sapphire 580s special editions, 8 gigs, 1 Sapphire Nitro 4 gig, 2 MSI Armor 4 gigs, 2 MSI Gaming X 4 gigs, on the Asus Prime Z270A motherboard. Total hash rate 239 mega hashes. So let's dive down to it. So these two are pulling 29.6 to 29.8 mega hash. These two are pulling 29.2 mega hashes. 31.1, 31.1, 31.1. This one, I've been having some issues. Um, I had it at 29 and I was getting errors, so I actually had to bring it down a little bit. This is running at 27.7, so, and running smoothly. So, as you guys can see, 30.8, 30.9, so right at that 30, uh, 238.9, um, everything is running smooth. So still same, 850 power supply. PMY. Apologize for the cables. Still have to do some cable management. Still looks platinum 1200 power supply. Same motherboard. Same Intel Pentium G4400 processor, Corsair Vengeance, RAM, 16 gigs, and that is a total. So next thing is that, running good on that one. I took using, using one of my monitors from my main setup, and this is my, my setup I do, all my YouTube editing and everything. So that, here is rig 1, and as you guys can see, rig 1 is about 
11,451 shares. It's been set running zero rejected. Running time 71 hours and 24 minutes. 241.3, 240. So there you guys see it. Everything is running smooth. Temporarily, so this is while I'm flashing, getting all the bios up to date and everything runs here. So right after, I, I'm gonna leave it here running 24 hours to make sure everything's smooth and running awesome. Then I'm gonna take the rig and it's gonna go on top of here. And then we're gonna KVM switch to run on this monitor. All right, guys. So another update on rig two. So basically, we're at 14 and a half hours. Let's take a look. 14 and a half hours. 239.4 mega hashes. Almost 20, 2,400 shares, zero rejected. 14 hours. Now, as you still see, there's. So 31.5, 29 31.7, 27.8, 31, 29, 31, 29.2. So everything is running smooth. It has been running temperature wise, it's about 64 degrees is the highest temp I see. Yeah, 64 degrees is the highest temp. So everything else is running very smooth. So as you guys can see, um, it is getting a little noisy in the room with everything running. That's just two rigs. So with this has no fans. So no Corsair fans on this one. This is just strictly just GPU fans running on it. So it doesn't have the Corsair fans like this. I'm still debating if we're going to do the Corsair fans on this rig setup or not. Um, it really comes down. As you guys see this one, 86 hours strong, 241 mega hash. Everything on that is running smooth. So if you guys have any questions, definitely leave us a comment down below. You're more welcome to message me as well. Uh, always try to respond to everyone as quickly as possible. If I don't, please give me a little bit of time. Because um, I do, have, do get a lot of messages and comments that come in from the videos. Um, until then, this was Jay with Review It, and I'll see you guys on the next video.